Today I'm eating at Mija Seoul. I've recently moved to Seoul, South Korea. It hasn't even been a month yet and already I've discovered so much in this beautiful city. If you've heard about Korean fried chicken, you already know I had to try a nearby spot to experience what Korean fried chicken is really like out here. I got two different kinds of wings, one with no sauce and one with sauce, and they both were amazing. The flavors they put on the sauces are honestly so addicting. Actually, I want either kamja salad. I want kamja salad. Ah, it's my first no? time. Yeah. I would say this is like the drink of Korea. Yeah, this is the. This is like milk. <laughs> like a Korean way of never for your own. Oh, really? You can stay single for three years. That's cute. Mm. Even though there's tons of restaurants out here, I still find myself in the convenience stores trying out all the different snacks they got. Also had to get used to using the dry cleaner to wash my clothes. Literally nothing was in English. So this is kind of something you need to get used to if you're moving to a foreign country. Try to learn the language. Luckily I was able to figure it out. And I even went grocery shopping at a Korean grocery store. What I love about living in a country where you don't speak the language, it constantly feels like you're learning something new every day. Going to a restaurant called Mom's Touch. I had to try another local spot called Mom's Touch. I heard they have amazing chicken sandwiches and that was not a lie. This was definitely one of the best chicken sandwiches I've had. Another thing I really needed to get was a Korean haircut. So I found a local barber shop and booked in to finally get cleaned up. Yeah. What was your name? Name? Mm -hmm. Ji Hoon. Ji Hoon. Ne. Mm -hmm. I'll be coming back. Oh, that's good. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. Haircut looks nice. I feel like a new person. I haven't had my haircut in like three years. And they went all out. They were massaging me. I'm not used to that. Getting my hair shampooed twice. And I'm so glad that they spoke English actually. And they're really nice too. So I'm definitely going back there. It's negative 14 degrees Celsius right now. So cold. Got my gloves on. I've honestly never been in winter like this before. Being a California kid and living in Australia for so long, I forgot what cold felt like. It's warm. 
Man's greatest invention. What are we? Too early. Maybe we can share a little like soup. <laughs> Today I'm eating at Mija Seoul. So we have three snacks. We have an eggplant that we grill and brush with samgyang and puff millet. We have our take on a little chun, which is a pancake. And then the last little bite we added on today is lion's mane mushroom that we comfy in the oil. And then we deep fry it and then the comfy garlic in the bottom to make sure to get a bit of everything. Flavors you get out of that mushroom. Is awesome. yeah. If you're blindfolded, you would not know that that is not chicken. This is wine with balance and blend all the different flavor profile in the next dish. Our next serving, here we have a uh, quangu, which is flatfish flounder that we serve raw, wrapped around these daikon slices, orange peel puree, and then a broth made on dongchimi, which is a uh, water kimchi, chili oil, and then we have a uh, cold pressed sesame oil. How do we work out? Um, work out. So, undong chin cha cha ha heo. And in Korea, you're not supposed to, unlike Japan, you're not supposed to lift the bowl to your face, right? It's like considered no, you, rude? You oh, really? Yeah. Okay, okay, I heard that was looked down upon. For some oh, no, no, it's perfect. Like yeah, but it's okay. like yeah, it's also like you have to, if, especially if you only have like chopsticks or some china, like mm. I always drink the whole bowl. Well, that's good to know that. So, this is going to be the next pairing of the night. It's Hansan Chayang Sol. This one is going to be a clear rice wine. It's going to have a really nice soybean aroma to it. So, it's going to have this almost caramelized sweetness that has a syrupy texture, but also a clean finish. So, it's going to bring out the richness and the creaminess of the mackerel really nicely. Amazing. Thank you so much. And here we have a uh, champion. Korean buckwheat pancake. And we serve it with green chili, mayo, fermented garlic, garlic chives, and on top you have Japanese Spanish mackerel that we grill and brush with soy. I would attack this as a taco, so you just fold it around the mackerel and eat it with your hands. Oh. <laughs> um, and how many say no? It's a hard this is going to be the next pairing. It's going to be more top. So this one is going to be dry. It's going to have quite a bit of acidity to it. So when you have it by itself, it might feel like too acidic in a way. So that's what we recommend uh, to have with the food. It was such an experience to be at Mija Soul and really see the dedication they put into each dish. I was so surprised how much flavor they could pull from these ingredients. So underneath the shell, we have soy pickled abalone and then some potatoes and yuja cream underneath it. And it's finished off with some smoked oil to add some depth of flavor. And then uh, the seaweed around it, we recommend that you don't eat it. It's not part of the dish. This thick rice wine has really uh, smooth texture. 
Ooh, yeah, that does look smooth. Pumpkin and rice cake dish. Here we have comfy pumpkin leaves, chewy rice cakes. We have a pumpkin puree in the middle, and underneath you find black garlic, which we make upstairs. But we take whole cloves of garlic and keep them in a heating chamber, 60 degrees Celsius, for two months. So all the sugar slowly turns and becomes a little bit acidic, a little bit umami, a little bit tangy in the flavor. So I would recommend to use spoon and mix it all together. Alright, this is going to be the next pairing of the night. It's going to be chidan chigyo. So this one is going to bring out the sweetness of the cabbage and sun away, but it also balance out the bitterness of the kale. Our next serving here is a tribute to the naba cabbage. Naba cabbage is in season and that's why we also have kimchi season right now. What we've done here is we soak it overnight, the cabbage, and then we pack it with kale and perilla leaves. And then we serve it with duenjang sauce, perilla oil, green perilla oil from the garden, the last time we serve, and we drizzle it with pork and duenjang is a very classic mix with cabbage, so we want to play on that. Uh, liquor is made from uh, Korean wild pear. It has sweetness, acidity, and bitterness. Our next serving here is a bibimbap. A bibimbap. So it's a raw tatami bibimbap. We have the tatami that we had chopped fresh every day. Hanu beef. So it's a Korean, like the best of the best Korean beef you can get. Smoke and salt and dry. So it's almost like a dashi and pamukgyal meet each other. Spring onions, salmon eggs, deep bone broth, with uh, infused with lemon thyme. And so for this, it's going to be your hanu or Korean beef shank. Okay. That's why I marinated for 12 hours and then braised slowly for 24 hours. Oh wow. But we're doing a twist with some jujube and some chestnut puree at the bottom to add a little bit of creaminess. This is also just the most classic dish we have on the menu. I like the beef stew. Have a yeah, stew, a gym. I just want to have a nice one. How's that winter feel? So this is going to be the last pairing of the night. It's a sparkling white persimmon wine. Thank you. So here we have our dessert, which is yogurt ice cream. On top of the yogurt ice cream, we just have to the chili oil. So it might sound like a wild dish, but it's a very Korean thing to eat kimchi and sweet potato together. So we wanted to incorporate the cream the entire dish. Amazing, thank you so much. First off, we have some warm roasted barley tea, and the barley is roasted with the skin on, so you get a really nice nuttiness to it. Amazing. And then to go with the tea, we have a few bites. And first off, it's going to be a fresh fruit, which is going to be a pangam milk. It's a type of warm hybrid fruit that grows in Korea. And it's topped with our spice mix. And then the item on the right there is going to be a yakwa. It's a type of traditional Korean pastry dessert. Ours is going to be a white pepper yakwa with a kumquat jelly and green mango base. And then this item here is going to be our kumquat chongwa. And it's a dessert that's going to be kind of like a chewy jelly. Um, that's, that was eaten a lot during um, private changes in the day. And then this is going to be our glazed walnut. And then the final item is going to be your cinnamon and nutmeg mushroom. What a meal that was. That was an experience, unlike anything I've ever had. And the fact that it was primarily vegetarian blows me away. The flavors of Korea, all in this experience. Thank you to Kevin and the rest of the Mija Soul team. It was amazing. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. <laughs>